Check, check, check. Mic check. Was it? Good. 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 Mic's not here. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. Amen. Yes. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Yes. Feliz Domingo para la mañana. And happy Mother's Day. Amen. Yes. Feliz Dia de las Madres. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Ibrigan Church of the Big Bear, and a church you can call home, Amen. and a church alive that you can drive to, you can view to, or you can walk to. <laughs> Amen. Yes. So praise God. Today we're going to be talking, of course, about mothers. Amen. So happy Mother's Day. Feliz día por la mañana y feliz día de la madre. Amen. Yes. So praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Amen. But, uh, I'm ready to go. Amen. I'm on go. I've been on go. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God. Here we go. Before we get uh, going, grab your Bibles, grab your swords, and say it like a mean at church. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you ready? Praise God. Praise God. So happy Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de las Madres. Mothers, one of the greatest gift of God. Amen. And here's our Amen. poster. If you can't read it, it says, our banner says, God bless our moms, our mother. The love is the window of God's heart. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. To all you mothers that are watching and listening, happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. Praise God. It says, listen to this. A mother is a precious uh, or one of the greatest gifts of God. There are many precious things that God has bestowed upon us. However, a mother is one of the special gifts of God. Yes. She is the image of sacrifice and love. When a child is born, a mother is born. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and from that moment onward, she sacrifices everything for her children, for her child. Amen. So praise God. And we're going to be talking about the gift. And we, we, the gift is a mom is gracious, intelligent, faithful, and Tender. Amen. Let me give you a few more uh, other acronyms for that. But a gift is uh, God is faithful today, every day. Aren't you glad? This is the day the Lord has made. I will yeah. rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. He woke you up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And here we are. Hallelujah. Praising him. Praise God. Gift. Giving. And fun to. <laughs> Growing and faithful together growing in faith together amen and god is forever there amen he says he never leaves you nor forsake you uh -huh. you know he's always there with you yes. amen Woo, hallelujah praise Lord, god Lord. but uh prepare yourselves to receive i always tell you this because god has something special for you amen so today here we are to worship god honor moms many of us wish we still had our moms mm -hmm. and uh happy mother's day to all you there still have mothers here I just wanted to say go and visit with them you know before they're gone yeah. amen get things right you yes. know <laughs> get things right and those that are in heaven heaven happy Mother's Day my mom's in heaven so happy Mother's Day I already I already talked to her <laughs> continue to remember them and love them and honor them we're gonna be talking about this honoring them you know because God gave us some commandments and he says to honor your mother your father and your mother. Amen. So being military for quite a few years, retired military, I know what a command is. And when God gives a command to his army, us, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not something you take. We're not just a suggestion or something. Yeah. Uh, let me see what I wrote here. If you feel like it or if you want to, uh -huh. he says command. He yes. says, you want to live long? Mm -hmm. He says, honor your mother. Yes. Amen. If 
And you know what comes with it? Long life. Long yeah. life. Amen. All right, so don't disobey if you want to live long. <laughs> yeah. oh, hallelujah, praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. We have quite a few uh, slides for you. Happy Mother's yeah. Day. Keep going, Kermit. Happy Mother's Day. You have been a true blessing in my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I may break up. If you do, praise God. That's all right. <laughs> break up together. Feliz Dia de la Madre. Amen. Keep going. Let me read you this. Felicidades. Hoy quiero felicitar a todos los, las mujeres, a mis primas, mis amigas, mis hermanas, mis tías, mis cuñadas, en especial a todas las que son mamás, madres. Happy Mommy's Day. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, Feliz Día de la Madre. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to this. The first love of your life is generally your mother's. Mm -hmm. She is the one without whom you could not be delivered into this world. That's right. She is the one who usually teaches and corrects you throughout your childhood years. You know, the Bible says, honor your father and your mother. Mm -hmm. And it also says, parents, teach your children the way they should go. Mm -hmm. It didn't say about anybody else. It says, teach your uh, children the way they should go. When they're old, they won't depart from this. Yes. So, you know, sometimes we just dump it on somebody else to do this for us. Mm -hmm. You know, a babysitter, a school or something, you know. But we are to teach them the way they should go. Yeah. Amen. And if they end up wrong, don't blame anybody else yes, yes. if you didn't do your part amen mm -hmm. that's just a little side sidetrack there <laughs> <laughs> Woo. so she has to correct us also says you know spare not the rod uh -huh. if you love your children sometimes you got to be disciplined amen oh you know i'm not gonna spank my children i'm not gonna discipline my children uh -huh. Well, you know, sometimes you have to correct. You know, God is still disciplining us. Yes. He corrects us, you know, and if he corrects us, don't take it as, oh, I'm offended, you know. Mm -hmm. No, sometimes he really needs to correct us, you know, especially if you're getting off course. Get back on course, Amen. you know, if you, especially if you're not doing right. Mm -hmm. He's going to correct us. He's going to discipline us. So he needs to, he does that to his children. You know, we have children, and we need, when we need to correct them, we need to, not spare a rod sometimes. We need to apply the rod, amen. That means a good spanking. <laughs> I have some good spankings. <laughs> when you're really blessed, she is one who goes from being your mom to your teacher and coach. And eventually, one of the best friends, other than Jesus, a mother, is one whom we see the Bible gives most glory and honor. And we talk about Eve the first mother, yeah. amen, about Mary. Praise God, Eve was the first woman on earth, first wife, first mother. She's known as the mother of all living. Amen. Mary, the wife of Joseph and the mother of Jesus, whom was conceived within her by the Holy Spirit because, of course, she was a virgin. Amen, so praise God. The Bible tells us in uh, John three sixteen, for God so loved the world, he gave Jesus his only his one and only begotten son. Amen. But he gave him. Amen. He says, he that believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes, amen. Jesus said, I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. So if you haven't got that right, it's time to get it right. There's no other way. You can't buy your way. You can't go through anybody else but Jesus. Amen. You know what you do? All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I have sinned against you. I repent. Forgive me. And you know what? He will. Yes. It's time to do it about face. Mm -hmm. We learn how to do that in military real well. Mm -hmm. When they say it about face, you better do it about face, otherwise you're going to crash. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us do need to do it about face, just like the prodigal son said. You know, hey, I can go back to Father's house. Guess what? Mm -hmm. It's okay to come back to Father's house. Amen. Whatever you've done, whatever happened, it's done. It's over. Mm -hmm. Just doing a bad face and confess him as your Lord and Savior mm -hmm. and start living for him. Start Amen. reading the word. Yes. And you know, start going to church somewhere where you can fellowship with you believers. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
I'm excited. Glory. <laughs> Let me uh, read you something. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's read it. Uh, the Gospel, John 19. Amen. Amen. Yes, we use the Word of God. Amen. Amen. We use the Bible. Thank you, Lord. John. Uh, keep going, Colonel. 19 what? 19, 26 and 27. There we go. John 19, 26, 27. So when Jesus then saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing. We're talking about the Gospel of John. He's talking about John, the disciple. John, standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And verse 27 says, And then he said to the disciple, John, behold your mother. From that hour, the disciple took her into his own household. We're talking about Mother's Day. Jesus was about, well, he's at the cross. And he's about to go. But this is how much he loved his mom. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's what I wanted to say. He made sure she was taken care of while he was gone. Right. Amen. He's coming back. But still, he loved his mom. He says, you're going to be cared for while I'm gone. Amen. And this is how much he loved him. He told his, his disciple, behold your mom. And told her, behold, this is your mom. Amen. And from there on, it says that at 27 says, the disciple took her into his own household. to started caring for her. Amen. So, <laughs> Praise God. Amen. This Amen. is awesome. Amen. As a nation, we celebrate a, a Mother's Day once a year. Amen. It is a day we honor mothers for all they've done. We don't have to wait once a year. We can celebrate and honor mom every day. Yeah. Thank God while you have her. Mm -hmm. You know, don't wait. <laughs> don't wait to go to her funeral. No. Don't wait to go to her grave site. <laughs> now is the time. Get things right. Amen. Get things right. Lord, give me the strength I need. Whatever you need to do is to get things right so you can go on and honor her. Yes. It didn't say if she was perfect. Mm -hmm. and if you find somebody perfect, the only one you find is perfect is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is perfect. Yes. Just to honor her. He didn't put in parentheses if she does this, if she does that, and if she's perfect. <clears throat> no. He says honor your mother and your father. Amen. So. Still, you want to get things right. Don't wait till it's too late. And then come crying. Mm. You know, get it right now where you're face to face. And you can come see her. Amen. And honor her. Because God says so. Not because I said so. Because the word of God says so. Amen. That's a command. Not a suggestion. Mm. If you feel like it. You know, put the flesh aside. Mm. You know. And get things right. Man, I'm, I'm talking to somebody. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> That's strong. We don't have to wait once a year. We can celebrate and honor and love and appreciate and forgive them. Mm -hmm. And enjoy them while we still have them. Yeah. Settle all or any difference, uh, unforgiveness, differences, division, or hatred now. Mm -hmm. You know what the enemy tries to do? The enemy says, the Bible says, he, the thief, the enemy yes. comes to steal, kill, kill and destroy. destroy. And he's going to try to... Destroy that relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, when we get of age, or we just want to go our own way, like the prodigal son, you know, mm -hmm. and do our own thing. And, uh, you know, uh, you see other kids doing things. You say, well, I wish I was living with them. I wish she was my mother. <laughs> 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 they, yeah. She let him get away with everything. Uh -huh. But remember, Proverbs 22, 6. Yeah. To train your children the way they should go. Yeah. She's training you and disciplining you the right way. Yeah. Amen. So don't just sell her out and say, "Well, you know, yeah. I, I I'd rather be over there. I'd rather I'd rather be uh, I'd rather so and so be my my mom, <laughs> not you." And say things. You know, later on, you are gonna have to come back and say, "You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me." Mm. And she will. Grand Amen. Always bring her on the other side. Praise God. Yes. Settle any unforgiveness, differences, division, and hatred now. Yes. To celebrate and honor, I just wanted to say this. We want to celebrate and honor all spiritual moms, mm -hmm. all teachers, mm -hmm. 
Maybe you never had a physical child yourself, but you've trained and you've raised so many babies and taught so many children. Mm -hmm. We just want to say, Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. With your guidance, they grew up to be something special. Amen. 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 So happy Mother's Day to you. Amen. Yes. Praise Amen. God. We don't, we're not forgetting about you. Let me see how I wrote it here. To celebrate, honor all spiritual moms, teachers that have never physically given birth, but you have taught and raised many babies, many children. We honor you. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Praise God. Amen. I want to tell you my favorite uh, Mother's Day uh, uh, story. <laughs> but the six-year-old boy that got lost in the in the grocery store, and he's looking around, <laughs> and he can't find his mom. <laughs> so he's smart, and he thinks he started calling his mom by her first name, and a mom run to him, you know, and says, well, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" He says, "Well, I lost, I lost you." He said, "Well, listen, I just want you to know, I'm not. Don't call me by my first name. Call me mom." He says, yes, I know. He says, but if I call mom, he says, all these women will run to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, thank God for all moms. Yes, you know, because yes, you yes. know what? When they see somebody lost, when they see somebody hurt, they'll run to help. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. That's a mom. It's in them, you know. They'll come and they'll help. And that's good. Uh, praise God. Thank God for all moms. Amen. Yes. The world is full of moms, but only one mom is special to you. Show you her gratitude. Honor her. Why? Because we're commanded to. <laughs> so be obedient. Obey. Amen. Some good words we use in the military. You got to, you, you, you hear commands and you hear obey. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you have to do those things. If not, you're in big trouble. Yeah. Amen. And you got to be punished for those things. <laughs> There's no one like her, like your mom. No one can take the place of your mom. That's right. You may have a spiritual mom and honor her. Amen. But still, honor your mom. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. The Lord has commanded us to honor her. Go, Carmen, to the next one. Here we go. Here's our first scripture we're going to look at. Deuteronomy 5.16 uh, 5, says what? In the King James. It says, honor thy father and thy mother as yes. the Lord thy God has commanded thee. Uh -huh. That thy days may be prolonged. Long. <laughs> And that it may go well with you or yeah. me in the land which the Lord thy God has given thee. Yeah. Amen. This is a commandment. Yes. Amen. He he obeys it. He he honors his word. Mm -hmm. And we need to <laughs> obey what he's given us to yeah. given us. Amen. So yeah. this is our one of our first scriptures. Amen. Obey. This is the fifth commandment. To obey thy father and mother. Yes. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. Exodus 20 and 12, King James says what? Honor thy father and thy mother, mm -hmm. <laughs> that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God has given thee. Mm -hmm. This is the second time. Another book. <laughs> and, right. uh, and he's given us, written it again and given it to us again. Amen? Yeah. And if you go one more, Carmen. Here's it again. Old Testament, now we're in the New Testament. It says, Ephesians 6, 1 and 3. It says, children, we're his children. Mm -hmm. I've told you this many times, but uh, I want to say it again. Don't go around, if you're born again Christian, don't go around calling yourself a sinner. Yeah, we yeah. sin, but when you, at, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 5, 17 says, you're a new creature in Christ. Old is gone, new is in, and now I'm a child of God. Mm. Here he says, children, we're his children. Amen. So don't go around putting yourself down. You're a child of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Even if, if you do wrong, even if you've sinned, you're still a child of God. Get it right with him. Say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Yeah, I know. So repent. You know, get it out. Confess yeah. it. Now you're a child. What does he call? He didn't call the sinners. He says, Ch children. Right. Amen. He says, children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and, yeah. the, and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live as long on earth. Amen. It'll go a lot smoother if you get things right with mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> we'll honor dad next month. Yeah. But this is mom's day. <laughs> this is mom's month. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You got to get it right. If you haven't, you know, I know 
your mom may be in heaven, but that's okay. You know, still you can just say, yeah, I did wrong, you know, mm-hmm. and get it out. Get it out. Amen. But while you're here, face to face, right? Say, right. Mom, I do, I did you wrong. The Bible says to honor you, so I'm gonna honor you. Amen. And uh, get it right. You know, it takes it takes a lot to do that. But you know, Lord, I need your strength. I need your strength. You know what Jesus did <laughs> going to the cross? It took a lot of strength. Mm-hmm. It took a lot of strength to do what he did. Mm-hmm. But still, he asked the Father to give him the strength he needed mm-hmm. to do and fulfill what he's what he was called to do. Amen. We need his strength and a relationship with him on a daily basis just to fulfill what he's called us to do. Yeah. Whatever mission he's called you to do, mm-hmm. you can complete your mission. But you know what? We need him on a daily basis. Yes, not does. once in a while. Not right. once a year. You know, but on a daily basis. Lord, I need you. Amen. I can't do this without you. I, have, I told you I have a bumper, a uh, sticker on my bumper that says, it's hell out there without God. <laughs> <laughs> it's hell out there without Jesus. Mm-hmm. It is. Yes. And you know what? If you don't have a relationship, it's going to be hell every time you walk out that door. But if you have a relationship and get things right, you know, hey, you're going to walk out of here with a David attitude, a winning attitude. Say, where's them giants? I'm going out hunting me for some some giants. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So remember that. Hallelujah. You can say that quick. Proverbs 31. This is beautiful. We're not going to read it all, and we're not going to keep you forever. But (laughs) Proverbs 31 says, is about a perfect wife. A mother, a woman that lives a life with purpose, mm. a life with diligence, mm. forgiveness, and repentance. Mm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs 31, 28, and 30 says, Her children says good things about her. Her husband brags about her, praises her. And verse 29 says, There are many good women, but you are the best. Mm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. <laughs> Who is this woman? Her name is called Mother. Mm. She is a precious gift from God. Amen. And we're going to be talking about gift, this God gift God has given us. And verse 30 says, Graces and beauty can fool you, but a woman who reverence the Lord should be praised. Yes. Amen. A woman that reverence the Lord should be praised. Amen. And reverence here is talking about respect and uh-huh. honor. Amen. And we need to we need to get this right. So today we're going to be talking about the four qualities of a mother. She's a precious gift from God. And four qualities that we talked about already are she is gracious, she's intelligent, she's faithful, and she's ten- tenderness. Her tenderness, amen, tenderhearted. Praise God, amen. Uh, you know, if you're not right and you're rebelling and you want to do your own thing, you don't see your mother this way. Amen. You're fighting all the time. Remember, the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy, mm-hmm. and he wants to show you different. And he wants you to see the, the different, and you don't, there's division. Yeah. Amen. There's division. That's what he comes to, the, to steal, kill, destroy. Mm-hmm. There's division there. You don't want this division. That's right. So the first letter of gift is what? She's gracious. Mm-hmm. A mother is a gracious gift who is mm-hmm. more concerned with the needs of others than she is for her own needs. You know this? Yeah. All you moms, you know this. Amen. She puts her put her family first, mm. those in need second, and she puts herself last. Mm. Amen. She is gracious of self giving in the words of she speaks, the deeds, the things she does. She is gracious to her household. She is gracious to her family. She is gracious to the needy. Amen. This is a gracious mother. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. All right. We're going a little quick about this, but number two is I, the letter I in the word gift. I says mother is a precious gift. She's not only gracious, she's intelligent, she's wise, she's industrious, she manages her family and finances well. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> she knows her God. She has a relationship with him. She knows who she is in Christ. Mm-hmm. She knows Who's backing her? We need to know these things. Amen. Yes. We need to know these things ourselves. Yes. We know she can do all things through him. Yeah. We know she has not 
been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Yes. Amen. Yes. So, hallelujah. Descriptions of an intelligent mother or woman is she balances her family and her business as well. She is completely uh, completed, uh, accomplished the strenuous, strenuous. She is a chef. She is a vineyard keeper. She is a fashion designer. And she's a woman of intelligence. <laughs> Hallelujah. Many talents. Uh, what was that? Many talents. Many talents. Hallelujah. Uh, keep going, Carmen. Just keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. <laughs> Here we go. Those of you that have the opportunity to view this, <laughs> I want you to see this. But while we're looking at those of you that are, uh, are, are listening, Sis, they're looking at mom's closet, mm -hmm. and in there they see a, a superhero's uh, a cape, <laughs> <laughs> and it says S for super. This is you see, I told you, <laughs> and the little girl says, so that's how she does it. Uh, <laughs> hallelujah, she's super mom. Oh, Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> so you go to your mom's closet and check, see you find a superhero suit. <laughs> Next one, McCartney. <laughs> there she go. She's faster than a speeding toddler. She's more powerful than a Hoover upright. <laughs> Able to leap piles of laundry yeah. in a single bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is she? She's super mom. <laughs> Praise <laughs> God. There she is. One more, Carmen. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. This is super mom right here. Oh God. Amen. Oh God. You see that? She got octopus arms all over herself. You know, she can sweep, she can uh, vacuum, she can uh, clean. Oh man, she can cook, she can take care of baby. Oh man, she can take care of all these other things in the household. She can cook. Oh, she can take care of her finances. Oh, all these, all these things. That's super mom. Super mom. I mean, you know, some of you have super mom and you never appreciated her. Mm. Let her know. You know, today's her day. Call her. Amen. If you're able to visit her and let her know. Praise Thank God. you, mom. I appreciate you. Amen. I love you. Amen. Those of us that have moms in heaven, just say, Thank you, mom. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's all right. Don't forget. You won't forget. That's super mom right there. <laughs> you can go back now, come. <laughs> so praise God. She's intelligent. She's gracious. She's intelligent. Now she's faithful. A mother. She is faithful to her God. Priorities in order. Matthew 6, 33. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Uh -huh. Amen. She got her priorities right. Yeah. She is faithful to her husband. Yeah. She is faithful to her family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Faithful is one of the most important qualities of God. Mm -hmm. The greatest words we could hear from God are Matthew 25, 31, or 21. It says, well done, good and faithful mm -hmm. servant. You know, when you fulfill your mission, when you fulfill what God has called you to do, whatever he calls you home, one thing you want to hear is, <laughs> well done, good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we're servants of God right now. Yeah. The Bible tells us also in uh, Matthew that Jesus came, the Son of God came to this world not to be served, mm -hmm. but to serve yeah. as a servant. Mm -hmm. So we must serve. Some of us need to hear this well, because I go to a lot of places that I'm supposed to be served, and I'm received as, you bother me. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> you know, go. Mm -hmm. We need to know the greater one is in us. Amen. Yeah. And people will see God, Christ, through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to be good examples, good imitators of him. Mm -hmm. Just it, imitate your heavenly father. Imitate Jesus. Yeah. Be, be Christ-like yeah. in our words and our actions. You know, mm -hmm. don't just come to church and jump and holler and do all those things, you know, and you leave this uh, church and you go out there and, and be live like the world. Mm -hmm. The world don't even know you. Mm -hmm. The world don't even know you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. You know, why? Because you're acting like them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be Christ-like. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Every day. Every day. <laughs> it is not our ability that counts with God but are availability. Yes. We say this all the time. Make yes. yourself available to him. 
Amen. Don't you say, well, find somebody else. That's the, that's the excuse. That's, that's what everybody says. You know, find somebody else. Mm -hmm. Moses told God, find somebody else. You know, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. I can't speak. I can't, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, God says, I've chosen you. Mm -hmm. I want you. Why? Because he knows you. Yes. And he knows what's in you. Yes. So you need to visit your God so you know what's in you. So that you can start doing what he's called you to do. Yes. He's put you on a mission. Yes. And you've got what it takes to fulfill whatever he's called you to do. Mm -hmm. yes. You just got to get up and press on. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Forget about what people say. Mm -hmm. You know, be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Yes. Amen. You know, Thank people you. are going to be jealous because they're not doing it. So they don't want you to do it. Mm -hmm. Come join us and be lazy like us and do nothing like us. Huh. You know. But press on with whatever God has called you to do. Yes. Believe me, if you're living in this world, God has called you to do something. Yeah. Amen. You're not just living here for nothing. That's right. But you're special to Him. So see yourself special. Yes. You know, quit putting yourself down. I'm talking to somebody. Mm. Amen. You know, you're special to God. Yes. You're special to Him. Amen. Not only are you special to your mother, but you're special to your mom. I mean, to your God. Yeah. Amen. And he sees you this way. So you start seeing yourself that way. You know, um, I mean, well, many of you know the story of Joseph. You know, he, he had uh, all kinds of brothers, you know, and they was all jealous about him because his father treated him, oh, he spoiled him. He loved him. Yeah. You know, and, they, and so they was jealous. So what do we do with him? Let's kill him. <laughs> no, no, that's not, that's not, that's, that's not kill him. So they sold, they sold him to slavery. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. But you know, every time they tried to put him down, mm -hmm. he loved his God. Yeah. And he was obedient to his God. And guess what? God promoted him. He rose to the top like He rose to the top all, every time. Mm -hmm. So you see yourself that way. Mm -hmm. Quit calling yourself a nobody. Yeah. You are somebody. Yes. You know, quit saying, I'm no good. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything in me. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Bible says I can do all things through Christ. All things. You know, when yeah, they get yeah. the word in you, <laughs> all that negative stuff is going to go out and all the positive is going to come in. Yes. And you start speaking those things. When you speak the word of God, you start fulfilling what he's called you to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he says, hey, I see the winner in you. I see the champion in you. Yeah. And I see you going all the way. Amen. 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 So see yourself that way. Woo. That was for somebody there. <laughs> yeah. We must use our gifts and our abilities to faithfully serve him and others. Yes. And others. Uh -huh. Amen. We come and treat God oh so lovely dummy and we go out in the world and act like the world. Mm -hmm. We can't do that. <laughs> you know? We can't do that. We gotta be, we gotta serve him. Yeah. Amen. His uh, uh, ministers of reconciliation Amen. when you bring the word of God to a lost world. Amen. Amen. They don't know any better until you come and bring them a truth that's going to set them free. That's right. Amen. You're going to bring that little shiny, <laughs> this little light of mine. Yes. And bring that light, and it's going to shine in that dark world. Uh -huh. You say, wow, I see something different about you. You're always smiling, you're always laughing, and you're always bright. <laughs> yeah. I let my little light shine. Amen. Amen. So you got to do the same thing. Amen. Praise God. A godly mother is a woman of faith, mm -hmm. a precious gift from God. Amen. Amen. So the last one is tenderness. So a mother's, mother is a precious gift from God. She is gracious, intelligent, faithful, and she is tender-hearted. She is overflowing with love. She is overflowing with kindness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Proverbs uh, 31, 26 says, Speak wisdom and teaches others to be loving and kind. She thinks, speaks, acts tender, tenderly. Her tenderness is described in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. And we've read this so many times, but I'll read it to you again. It says, verse 4, Love is patient and kind. Mm -hmm. Love is not jealous. It does not brag on its own, and it's not proud. 5. Love is not rude. It is not selfish, and it cannot be made angry easily love does not remember wrong yeah. done against it verse 6 love is never uh, happy when others do wrong mm. but it is always happy with the truth yes. 7 
Love never gives up on people. It never stops trusting, never loses hope, and never quits. Mm -hmm. Love will never end. Love never fails. Amen. This is awesome. Amen. Amen. Don't see the bad in people. See the good in people. Mm -hmm. Don't push people down and put yourself up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. You know, when you're a minister of reconciliation and an ambassador for God, you share good things and you lift them up and say kind things, you know. If you was going to die today, what would be the last thing you would say to somebody? Mm. Wouldn't you rather say the good thing mm. than a bad thing? Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Tenderness is a way of life for her. She is a woman of tenderness, a precious gift of God. How should we receive this precious gift? Received by faith with thanksgiving. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for my mom. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. For this precious gift you've given me. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> First, thank God for giving this precious gift to mothers. Mothers, including all those who have already gone home. Second, thank God your mother for being a godly woman, a gracious woman, intelligent, faithful, tender-hearted gift from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is the way you see your mom. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. If she has failed in any of these areas, remember, love, accept, and forgive her. Right. Obey the fifth commandment. Yeah. Honor her because it is a command from God. Yeah. Again, Proverbs 31, 28 through 30, her children say good things about her. Her husband brags about her and praises her. There are many good women, but you are the best. Don't. <laughs> In closing, Amen. I want to read you this poem. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, and thank you to all mothers, living or in heaven. I just want to read this poem to you. Since God's masterpiece is mother, God took the fragrance of a flower, the majestic of a tree, the gentleness of morning dew, the calmness of a quiet sea, the beauty of a twilight hour, the soul of a starry night, laughter of the rippling brook, the grace of a bird in flights, then God fashioned from these things and created a creation like no other. Mm -hmm. And when his masterpiece was through, he simply called it Mother. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So happy Mother's Day to all you that are viewing, all you that are listening. Uh, just wanted to say happy Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de Madres. Just wanted to say happy Mother's Day. Love you. God yeah. bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Lord. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, you're welcome. So if you're listening and uh, you've never accepted, every time we give you an opportunity to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you've done, it doesn't matter. Just confess your sin. Yes. And say, Lord, yes. I sin against yes. you. I repent. Mm -hmm. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. He's not going to put you down. He's not going to push you away. God sacrificed his son. Jesus gave his life for salvation. Salvation is free. All you have to do is ask. Mm -hmm. And you're asking now. Mm -hmm. And he's going to receive you. Amen. So, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. And he will. All you need to do is make that change. Amen. Start reading his word. Start going wherever they assemble themselves to read the word of God. A church where they teach the word of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> and you can... Start growing and going for him. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. If you're hurting, know that God, by Jesus' stripes, says, by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. So that part of your body, that area of your body, whatever's hurting on the outside or the inside, amen, mm -hmm. whatever sickness, you know, we haven't even ma mentioned uh, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Father, I speak to those that are listening right now, Father God. Within the sound of my voice, Father. Yes. That by Jesus' stripes they are healed, Father. Heal. Touch them yes. right now, Father God. We release yes. our faith. 
body be healed in the name of Jesus from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet Father God as they are touched and we call them well we call them healed by Jesus' stripes Father in Jesus name Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Once again, it's time to give. For those of you that are watching or listening, and would like to give or tithe, your tithe or offerings, you can still do so. We thank you for helping us during this time. And you can go to our website, and we got it on the screen up here. But it's nbcbigben.com. Those of you that are go, you gotta use the donate button. And those of you that want to mail your tithe or offering in. NBC, P.O. Box 253, Marfort, Texas, 79843. Again, we want to say thank you. Yes. Amen. And God bless. Yes. And happy Mother's Day. Yes. We love you. God bless. Yeah. Amen.